of term two work. Uh, it is credit transactions, debtors, the first part, or debtors one. It is topic seven in your books, uh, page 65. Right, so in this topic, we will learn about credit sales, debtors, the National Credit Act, debtors allowance the how this fits in the accounting cycle as well as recording transactions in the debtors journal otherwise known as dj so this is a new journal that we're going to be looking at and then as well as recording receipts from debtors in our crj so just some key concepts to look at i'm going to start with credit sales what does the term credit sales mean? So in accounting grade nines, you have to remember to always look at transactions from the business's point of view. So if the business does a credit sale, that means that the business sold trading stock um, to a customer, but the business is only going to be receiving the money for those goods at a later stage. The customer leaves with the goods and only pays on an arranged date with the business. Debtor, a debtor is someone who owes money to the business. So um, they owe me money, me being the business. A debtor is a customer who buys goods on credit from the business and a business sells goods on credit to a debtor. So those are just different um, ways of explaining it to you. Okay, so basically a debtor is someone who owes money to me, the business. The National Credit Act, this is a law of the country that controls the lending of money or the granting of credit. So the National Credit Act protects both the debtor and the creditor. A debtor is someone who owes me money, me being the business. And a creditor is someone that I, the business, owe money to. Debtor owes me the business. Creditor is someone that I, the business, owes money to. Then debtors allowance, we're also going to look at something called my DAJ, debtors allowance journal. And this is an amount that is going to be refunded to a debtors account. So why would we be doing this? So this is basically when a debtor returns goods that were not what they ordered or they were damaged. So I went to the business as a customer and I purchased something on credit then when I got home, I realized that they were damaged or it was not what I ordered. So they have to kind of reverse this transaction or give me an allowance that allows me to come and spend in the shop to reclaim for those damaged goods. Credit worthy. Um, a debtor is credit worthy when the business is able to trust that you will pay them the money that you owe for the goods taken. So if you are credit worthy, that means that the business does reference checks. So they check your bank statements, um, check your previous credit records. Are you going to be able to pay them back for the goods that you have taken? Um, and you are safe to lend money to. So they can give you those goods and know that you will be able to pay that money back to them. A credit limit, this is the maximum amount that the business is allowing the customer to take goods on credit for. So how they uh, determine your credit limit is they'll obviously look at your um, bank statements, see how much money you earn, what your deductions are, um, what you spend money on throughout the month and then how much money you have left and then through that they will say okay we can offer you a 8,000 Rand credit limit because they know that you will be able to pay that back 
A credit agreement is an agreement between a business and a person applying for credit and this is legally binding which means that it is a document that is signed to both parties um, that you agree what is said in those terms and conditions then lastly our DJ that is our debtors journal um, and this is the journal in which we record credit sales so I just want to take you back for a moment. Remember in our CRJ, when we sold goods for cash, how did we record that in my CRJ? We put it in documents as document number CRR. Then my details was sales and we recorded it in bank sales and cost of sales. So that would go in my cash receipts journal because it was a cash sale. I received the money for it. So now my debtors journal. When we look at our DJ that there is a column for sales and cost of sales in my debtors journal. And that is where we record, uh, we as in the business, record things that we have sold on credits.